Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? I'm back today to show you how I, uh, another video on how I do the pockets and the hidden paper clips. So I, I haven't gotten the journals listed yet. Um, they're ready, um, but I, I still didn't, I didn't get a chance till today to work on this cause my, I had my son and his dog, um, <laughs> My son and daughter-in-law and um, babies from Tennessee come in Friday and spent the weekend, and then my other son and uh, his fiance. Anyway, they're both fiancés. They're not actually daughter-in-laws yet, but I consider them daughter-in-laws. Anyway, I had all the kids over here this weekend, so needless to say, didn't get anything done, but that's okay. We had a great time. We got to the pool Saturday for a little bit. Uh, and we had a nice lunch yesterday to celebrate Abby's birthday. So it was a it was a really nice weekend. Um, so today's Memorial Day, and I spent most of my day cleaning up, <laughs> trying to get some organization back in here after all the craziness. After all the the craziness that I love, I love having all my kids here. Um, it's just kind of a small space, so it's a little chaotic. Uh, but anyway, but I love them and. I miss them when they're not here and it gets really quiet, but okay, babble, babble. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> the journals, I plan to get them in the shop tomorrow. If I can get that video up tonight or done tonight, if not, it's going to be maybe Wednesday. So uh, I apologize for that, guys. I keep telling you they're coming and I just haven't, I just haven't gotten it done. But um, anyway, so I'm working on, and this took me a minute to set up because I, I drag out a lot of stuff when I'm doing this. I have like, I have some envelopes over here that I've made um, using the little, um, 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 using this envelope board, punch board, which I have a love-hate relationship with, I'll be honest with you. I've marked I have a marking on here for me to do like the little, the small envelopes with a six by six piece of paper. But um, I can read this right here, but it is challenging for me. <laughs> um, and then anyway, I made some envelopes with this. That's what I made them with, but you can make your own envelopes. Um, you can make you a little template, make your own envelopes. So I've got some envelopes made. I have a bunch of pockets, I have a bunch of pockets already made. Um, to do this with, and you can use any kind of book pages. You can do them small. You can do them small like these, or, you know, even smaller, or you can do them larger with like the, um, like music pages and stuff. These are a little bit larger. And just the possibilities are endless. Once again, this is another one of those projects that you can do, you know, whatever. Um, got some scrap papers over here and then a bunch of fabric pieces that I've already kind of cut in triangles that I like to use. These are from scraps and some flowers, some, um, some of these lovely felt handmade buttons from my friend Jennifer. Thank you so much, Jen, for sending those to me. She's, I, I still had a little box full of them and she sent me a ton more recently and some other happy mail, which I haven't had a chance to share, by the way. And I'll do that, do that soon. But that's part of that happy mail. She sent me, like, she just sent me a ton of them. Look, I just pulled some of them out. So, um, and I love them. And then I pulled some of my die cuts. These are from book pages, okay? So you can use um, images from books, all right? Um, I just cut all these little different images out from various children's books. Uh, you can use die cuts if you have floral die cuts. You, you can do whatever you want with this. You can do it vintage. You can do use new items, whatever. I kind of mix it up. So I've made, <clears throat> I've made one here, and I've stuck the little alterations tag in it. You can make your tags. You can put whatever you want to in here, fold up paper, stick a note in there. Um, possibilities are endless. So this one is ready to go on to the um, hidden paper clip, okay? And I'm just trying to decide what I wanna put on the back of it. <clears throat> For this one, I already finished, so I thought I'd have a sample ready to show you. 
So this one has an envelope on the back. And you just, and I put a little butterfly here. I just um, punched butterflies out and stapled a piece of vellum on top of it. And I keep them in my stash. And then I just glued it here to make that a closure for the envelope. So on one side of this hidden paper clip, you have an envelope which you can put things in. And then this side, you have a pocket you can put things in. And I just pulled it onto a page. So this is a side. So this is a side loading hidden paper clip. And this is what it looks like off the page. Okay. And I'm in a different space. I've got my camera set up different. Um, I just can't, on my desk in my room, I can't get all this stuff on here. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead, since I've done this one, and I'm gonna put the paper clip on here, and then I'm gonna add the envelope onto the other side so you can see me do that part. Um, and then I'm gonna make a couple of these and maybe do something different. I have some other embellishments that I'd like to make into paper clips. So all I do is I just take scraps. This happens to be scraps of cardstock. And it's probably about, it's about two inches wide, okay? Two inches wide by maybe five inches long. Yeah. And then you just fold it over and you put a paper clip on here, okay? And this is the lar this is a little bit larger paper clip, not the little bitty, you know, regular office paper clip. This is the jumbo one. And what I like to do instead of leaving this square is I take my quarter rounder um, and I use the half inch, use the half inch setting here. And I got a little bit of a glare. I'm in my dining room kitchen. And I round these corners because to me, when you do that, um, it makes it easier to slide on and off the page. It's like the corners don't get um, stuck. And this is just a little, not quite. Um, kind of ragged there. So I'm take that off. Okay, and then I take my hot glue. So I decide first of all, I want to decide how I want to do this. Do I want to put my, do I want to put my paper clip down at the bottom? Do I want to put it up here? You know, how how do I want it on my page? Because this will be a side loading one. And do I want it on this side? Okay, because typically. <clears throat> For me, like she's kind of facing, this little girl is kind of facing this way. And, and this might be a little bit more than what you want to hear, but this is this is how my brain works. So um, to me, I think she should go like on the left side of a page. Um, but really, since she's sort of in the middle, it doesn't matter. But since she's facing that way, I'm gonna put her on the left, left side. So I'm gonna put my paper clip over here, okay? And I was thinking for this particular one, if I want to put it sort of towards the top of the page, you know, and have this sort of, um, have this sort of sticking out at the top of the page, then I could move this up, up higher. Um, but then you, you can put it lower down on the page. It really, really doesn't matter with this. It's just a preference. So I'm gonna do my hot glue. I'm gonna do my hot glue, and you're gonna really cover it. You wanna really cover that paper clip. Okay, so it takes quite a bit of hot glue. And I am right-handed, I'm not left-handed. <laughs> but since I'm, the way I'm set up here, I got my hot glue gun to the left of me. Okay, you're gonna put quite a substantial amount and then you're just gonna flip this over. Now, if you want, uh, um, if you want a charm or something, pull your paper clip out a little bit. If you want to attach a charm, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna put it here. And I want to put that paper clip right up, right up to the edge. And then just press your glue down. And be careful because it's hot. Hot, hot. That glue is super hot. Okay. And um, see now you've got this is your this is your hidden clip here, okay? And then when you put the envelope on this side, you won't be able to see that. Voila. So I think for this one I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this little rainbow 
sort of rainbow envelope. And yeah, you're kind of you're kind of losing this. So think about, you know, think about what paper you want to use. I just had some extra pieces, you know, six by six paper, and um, this is what I pulled out to use. Okay, so you want to figure out kind of where you want your where you want your envelope, or whatever you're putting on this side. Do the same thing again. And of course, you know, come on, boy. And don't go right to the edge with your hot glue because that's going to seep out. You know, don't go right to the edge. <clears throat> so now, I want one paper clip kind of right there. Maybe you could see what I was doing. This camera angle is not the greatest for me. Okay, so I'm kind of putting it right at the top. Right at the top of that uh, pocket. See that? Make sure you got it straight. And then kind of make sure you didn't glue, make sure you didn't glue it together, okay? <clears throat> it does take a few, it does take a few tries to get this um, kind of how you want it. And then I just kind of go in and push, you know. Just don't pull, don't pull your paper clip. You know, don't pull your paper clip too much. Because then it won't hold anything. Okay. So that is that one. And then I'm gonna decide. So here, um, I really like using either the hearts or the butterflies. It's a simple closure, it's flat. You know, it's not, um, and it'll hold this flat. So like for here, for this right here, I don't think that little felt flower would hold that flat. You know, if I, that's not gonna hold, it's not strong enough. Um, you could use, now if you plan ahead, you could use brads uh, or buttons. You know, you could, well you could still use a button. These are just some pretty buttons. These also came from Jen and I've been hoarding them. You could also use um, a pretty button. It just depends. The paper clip's gonna be a little bit bulky already. So just depends on how much bulk you want there. So for these, you know, I've got my, um, I bought one of these organizing things at Michael's a long time ago when it was on sale for like $12. So anytime I punch, I have scraps, I punch butterflies, I punch hearts or whatever. And that's this is how I store them. So, on the other one, I used one of these, so I'm gonna use one of these on this one. Let's see which one I like better. What color combination, because there are differences on these. Okay, I kinda like that one. Okay, so on here, you can't, you, you got to glue, you got to kinda glue the back of this butterfly right here and right here. Um, because I have glued, I've glued my hearts, almost glued my hearts to my envelopes before. So you gotta be careful about where you do your glue. So I'm putting my glue like right here. I'm just using hot glue. Cause I think for that it holds better. And then I'm gonna put it right here. Glue that down. A little bit of Don't worry if a little bit of glue seeps out. Just take a take a paper clip or a you know whatever you have uh, handy. Just kind of pull that that glue off. Okay. So now you have a little closure. Okay. So super simple, a lot of fun. Um, these will be going in those journals. So. I've got those two done, and I'm gonna add, then what I'll do is I'll take my tags, and I'll add um, either some twine, or, you know, like, Baker's twine. Woo! See? Sorry, get my camera. Not used to this setup. Um, I'll add Baker's twine, or I'll do some scrap. I'll go through my scrap bag over here, and, um, Put some other kind of ribbon up in here. 
put for here, just to kind of finish it off and show you. I'm putting a little, putting a little baker's twine on here. And voila. So now I have another hidden paper clip, only this one is gonna go on the page this way, okay? So that's on the right-hand side, and then this one's gonna go on the left-hand side. So when you put it on the page, you do need to think about where your paper clip is, because see, it, it this lines up with the page, okay, on both sides. But you can move it, you can, you can put it up at the top of your page, you know, I mean, I'm being real simple now, um, or at the bottom. Fumble fingers. Yep, like that. Okay. Anyway, so that's those two. And then, um, so I've got some other envelopes over here. I really like this one. I think I'm going to use this one. And then I've got some other um, pockets here. Now, these were like index pages. Um, yeah, from a child craft book. So I like these. And then I like that you do have some white space up here so you can actually write. You can write over this, um, you know, journal over this part. And then I put the little labels on there so you can put a date or, you know, just a little bit of journaling on those. So for this one, we'll use that. Um, and this one's a little narrower, so I'm trying to make, trying to keep the pocket size consistent. Um, you can use uh, pages, and instead of, you know, when you've got the end page, there's type on the other side. You can fold these over and make the plain ones. Then you can do more. You can collage on these. Y'all know the deal with the pockets. You can do anything. Um, this is an envelope I made, and I wasn't really thinking. Um, th these are some vintage envelopes that I found um, I don't know, one of my outings months ago when I went out and several of them were sealed. So I could not, I couldn't open them without you know, like tearing them. So all I did was I just cut, you know, cut across the top. So with an envelope that's like that, you can do the top, um, you know, where the actual flap would be, or you can cut across here and make it a pocket that way. So I was collaging these and, um, I think this one's going to go in the Peter Rabbit book um, as a tip. Like, you can put it in as a tip in because I wasn't thinking <laughs> both sides. So, you don't want to glue one side down um, as a pocket. Yeah, I got carried away. But I thought those turned out cute. I'm going to do some more of these, too. Um, anyhow, see, I get off track. So, all I do is I take my scraps. You know, I've got all these, all these things out. Um, that are already pre-made, you know, the pockets. And then I got a bunch of scraps here, okay? Um, it's left over from some of the books. So I just pull the scraps out and I decide, okay, what image am I gonna use? So for this one, I wanted to use one, of, I wanna use one of these. I love this little girl. Love this little girl walking the dog. Okay, I gotta move stuff because I'm way out of. Love this little girl walking the dog. And then um, there was another one in here. Let's see. And then I think I'm gonna do, let's see. And then I'm gonna do the little girl um, pushing the pushing the little baby doll. Okay. Um, but I have these other really cute ones too. Like I have these little guys. Um, have some bunny rabbit images that I could have helped. Um, yeah, this really cute little bunny here. Um, and then I do want, I don't want to use her on one too. I really like her. So let's do a big, let's do a bigger image on one. And then this one. Um, so then I just kind of decide, I pick a pocket, decide the image that I want to use. Um, and then I go through my scraps and I really like these florals, but I try to think about what, and you can do this with, um, 
you know, squirrel, squirrel. You can do this with vintage papers and stuff too. And you don't have to add scrapbook paper. You can use your vintage stuff, whatever you have. Um, I really like this with that. So I'm just gonna cut. I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut a strip of this, okay? Of put it under here, okay, and then just cut it to sort of fit. This is another one of those things that I'll probably use that, that'll be pretty on that. Another one of those things that whatever you have and whatever you like, however, you want to embellish. This is just kind of how I, this is just kind of how my brain works. So I just pick me out some scraps and sometimes I'll do more than one. Um, you know, I'll layer strips if I have a lot of stuff left over. You know, you can layer another scrap. But for this, I'm just kind of doing um, like an image, kind of a little scrap of paper, some fabrics. So I'm gonna pull out my little scrap. I have a whole little thing of scrap fabrics here. And I just kind of go through and see what I like. Like with that image, you know, what colors um, do I want to use? You know, kind of a pink or a red. Actually, I think that one. Now see that piece is like several pieces of quilt. So that might not work as well as I want. I really like these. And I try not to spend forever figuring out what I want to do, you know? Um, so yeah, so I like that. I really like those two pieces. So for her, over here, um, you can't even see, let's see. So those are those two pieces for that. And then like for her, like I want something a little more vintage -y. Well, these are vintage too, but um, maybe a little floral, maybe a little piece of this. I cut that down a little bit. Okay, I'll cut that, probably cut that down a little bit. And then behind her, um, I really like this. I like this, I don't know, it might kind of get lost under there, but um, that's okay. You can kind of get a hint of that because it looks like a vintage wallpaper to me. So let's see. Okay. And try to cut straight, which I don't do very well. Yeah, I like that. But I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut this down. My fabric was trying to have a craft match over here. Okay. So I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. And then that kind of goes on there like that. It gets a little lost back there, but it's okay. I think it'll be cute because I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some rickrack and I'm gonna add a little flower or something to it, okay? So then at this point, I'll go ahead and glue. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on. I'm using my fabric, fabric tack today. Um, sometimes I use, I use the uh, art glitter glue. Since I'm gonna be dealing with fabrics on top of this, I'm just using my fabric tack. So I hope this inspires you. I mean, this is, you, there, I know I say this all the time. There's just so many ways to do um, all these things. You know, just take your, your style, what you like, um, you know, and play. And um, I can get carried away with these sometimes when I get in a zone and I'll have made a ton of them. Um, 
And I, and I sort of have a method to, you know, kind of like when I do my paper clips and things like that, I have a little bit of a, a little bit of a method of how I do things. Um, you know, and sometimes I um, want to break out of that and be a little more, I don't know, add different things or, you know, um, make it a little more interesting or whatever, but I just, I just kind of, this is just how my brain works. Um, I just have this, uh, it makes it easier for me to do a whole bunch of these if I just kind of have a, a method, and I don't know why I just put glue all over that whole piece of fabric that was real bright Carla you didn't need all that okay so now now I've got um, that on there so I have some little pieces of Rick rack that I already cut over here um, because I, so I didn't have to pull out you know all my Rick rack while I was doing this, because um, it's a big, sort of a big thing of it. Um, I wanna put, I like the gray on there. I don't currently have any red. I think the gray is gonna work best on that one. This one I have a blue. I think this blue will be pretty. Okay. Set that back aside. <clears throat> then I have some labels. I have these little labels over here that I sort of need to cut around them. Um, I just cut them out, but I didn't cut. This was from a, um, I think this was from a piece of paper that had all these labels on it. And I think it came from, it was one that came in one of my kits. So like I could, okay, see, I didn't think ahead. Um, I'm gonna put a little label over here. Or actually, I might just put a little label up here. That'd be cute. And then you could put a date, you know, whatever on it. So now I'm gonna glue this. And sometimes I will, sometimes I will go sew these through the machine, like right out the bottom. Um, just to add a little more texture to it, but I'm not doing that today. I'm not sewing on these. Um, possibilities are endless, y'all. Do whatever you like. You can use all kinds of ribbon. You can use washi tape. You can add buttons. Um, I've done it adding buttons. I've found that though, um, like I said, the buttons, I'm trying to do it where they're not as bulky because, you know, certain things do, it's already kind of adds a little bit of bulk to your book without, you know, adding more to it, but you can bulk them up all you want to, or you can make them small. You can do little small pockets. Um, I want to show you, I want to show you guys how to do a small one too. Um, Cause I have some other little tags made already that have been in my little bin. And um, then I've got those little coin, got these little coin pockets, these little coin pockets. So I want to make at least one, show you how to do one like that. Um, I had an idea for that. So, so, now, so this little guy's ready. Um, well, no. Because I'm going to add, I want to add some of these little um, buttons. So I'm going to put it over here where the dog is. And then that kind of ties that together because I left a gap there. Um, normally I would come up to the bottom of that, you know, and have everything touching, but I'm coming back and doing the buttons uh, so that it looks cohesive so to speak, and it goes together. So I think I'm gonna do those two little buttons, yeah. I love doing stuff like this. I have so much stuff, y'all, it's ridiculous. 
it is absolutely ridiculous that but I have been trying to buy and um, when I see things that I really really love um, and then I'm fortunate enough to have a lot of you folks who are so generous and send me so many fun things um, I'm very grateful but I've been trying to, you know, kind of stockpile for retirement. So, you know, I have a ton of stuff. I have a ton of stuff to keep me busy well, after, well into retirement and after. So now, so I like this. I think this is finished to my satisfaction. So then I'm going to put a little <clears throat> tag. One of the little alteration tags in here. Okay. And then I could still go, it's like I could still, before I make the paper clip, I could still go to my machine and, you know, just stitch on this. Um, but I, I really do like it like it is. I don't think it really needs that. So, um, and if I did that, you know, the tag, I'd just fold the tag up. But I like the fact that the tag fits all the way in here. You know, just kind of pokes out at the top. Okay. And then, let's see, what are we going to do on the back side of this one? Oh, I said I wanted to use this. I uh, really like, really like this floral. Um, and you know, you really don't have to worry about it too much because you're not gonna see it. Um, you know, you're not gonna see <laughs> this on that, so it doesn't have to match. I'm just trying to decide now, okay, this one needs to be, this one needs to go on the page this way in my mind because she's walking towards that way, so. Again, I'm going to take my paper clip. I'm just going to cut this. And then I'm going to round my corners. This might be a long video. I don't know. I want to. I don't mind. I don't have to watch the whole thing. So now I'm going to put my glue like that. And you can let that glue set for just, you know, a few seconds before you start pressing on it. So you don't, you know, burn yourself. Okay, so I said I wanted it that way on the page, right? Straight, boop, 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 straight, straight. Oh well, it doesn't matter. He's hidden. Okay, so then I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this further down on here. remember don't go all the way to the edge but make sure you get a good amount on that clip and then I'm going right up to the edge with the envelope okay and make sure it's not stuck See what kind of I'm trying to keep these sort of consistent because they're going in those. Um, I like to when I do a series of journals, I like to kind of well, not necessarily a series, but when I do the three or four journals at a time, I kind of like to keep the embellishments you know sort of similar throughout the book, throughout each book. Um, I hope that makes sense. Like, everybody's getting, you know, if you purchase my journal, you know, everybody's getting a different journal. You know, you're getting a different journal. You're getting different pages. You're getting different, but similar 
elements. So that's kind of, again, how my brain works. All right, so that is another one. And then I might add, not sure what I'm gonna add up there on the tag, but that is that one. I'll come back and add some string in there. And then before I do this one, I wanna do, um, excuse the noise for a second. I have bins upon bins of stuff here. I wanna do, um, I've got these little, Like this little guy. Like I've got a tag that's already made. So what I wanted to do was see how this would work. So I wanna um, like do this like this and put maybe a little um, ticket, you know, or something like that. Um, like make the paper clip like this. Okay, so that on one side, you've got this little sort of pocket. Um, and then the other side is just a little tag, just a little embellishment. Okay. So, in that case, I'm going to take my paper clip. And now you see that's really too wide. So that's too wide for that. So I'm just going to cut it down. Gonna cut it down a little bit on both sides. And then I'm gonna round the corner. So now only thing is I gotta be careful. Be careful. Be careful when I glue it so that you don't see the clip. So I'm gonna slide the clip over there. Okay. And then if I when I come down to the tag right there, um, okay, that should work. Like this is gonna stick out from the page, so this is gonna be like a little, you know. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come below where that hole is with the paper clip. See what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, hang on, got too close. I want to scoot that paper clip just a little bit. There we go. So now I gotta think about where, what I'm doing here, okay? All right. So now this part on this side is gonna stick out from the page. It's gonna give you like a little tab, you know? Okay. And then this, Gonna give you a pocket on the other side that will line up. This will I do it right there, it'll line up with the edge of the page. But what I want to do is like staple something like right here. Like I want to put um let's see, maybe a little label or something or a little ticket. So I got some little ticket things here. Yeah. Like here's a little um Here's a little ticket. Let's see. Let's fold that over. Like just some kind of little embellishment here. Um, or like I could put another little, um, hmm, let's see. 
I could put another little image there. Let's see one that might to do. I could put like this little boy here. I could put like a little. Uh -huh. I had something else on my brain, but this is kind of yeah, I don't like that. Um, These little kids are, these little boys are really cute, but they're too big to go on there. <clears throat> About a little kitten or something. Just a little something on the outside of here, you know. Um, And I don't like that either. Let's see. Let's see what all I got in here. This is normally why I don't do videos when I do this stuff because I start acting crazy and looking through, you know, every little thing I've got. I like these little tickets. Admit one kitty cat. <laughs> All right, just for, for sake of time. All right, now I'm just going to staple this little guy on here. Okay. Sorry, I did it again. Anyway, so... Now I'm gonna glue this little guy on there. Good Lord, this thing uses so much glue. There you go. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> I did it upside down. See that? <laughs> upside down kitty. No big deal. I'm glad I just stapled the cat. See, when you're not paying attention, what happens? Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just come across, I'll just glue them across there like that. Because now the admit one is not the right. Actually, it's okay. I glued them in, I stapled them back in there. 
Now he's right. Okay. So then, let's see how it looks on the, on the page. Uh-oh. So you gotta be careful so you don't glue. There we go. There we go. So now that's how that sits on the page. So you see how this little guy kind of hangs off? And then on the other side, you got the little, um, the little pockets. And you can stick a little note or a little tag in there. Cute. So anyhow, I hope this gives you some inspiration. I don't want to keep you forever. I've already, <laughs> I've already gone 45 minutes. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun to make. Um, you can make a big old mess, you know, um, dragging all your stuff out. But I think they, I think they come out really cute. I really like these. So now three of these are done for the journals and, um, I can finish these up this afternoon and get those listed. And, uh, anyway, I hope you found this helpful and inspirational and not too crazy. And I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.